things were things were rough when I was a, a, a teenager, when I started reaching those teenage years of, uh, you know, trying to find out who I was and rebelling and uh, I became a two-time All-American amateur wrestler by accident. I wasn't expecting to be as good as I was, but I think, you know, pain and anger fueled by, um, you know, things that were going on back at home in my personal life. You know, me and my dad started having a pretty rough relationship. My parents were, you know, slowly and slowly and slowly separating, and um, I, I ended up, you know, finding myself in, in, in court a lot. Um, I found myself in a group home, and it was, it was a lot to go through while being in high school. Um, you know, my mind was never on school. It was always on what was going on back at home. Hey, buddy. What's going on? You ready? You ready to watch my match tonight? Where are you watching it? When I was making a name for myself on in the indies and I was traveling all over different countries and getting signed to WWE. You know, obviously a lot of time is, is taken out of my, my schedule to, you know, spend time with my family. So, you know, wrestling weighed a toll on me and because for me, my mental and my family comes first. Um, my reason for retiring is the same reason that, I, that I'm coming back. And it's all for my family. It's always for my family. I'm weak in the knees, crawling all on the floor, trying to find myself. Remember me, cause I couldn't tell you I'm beyond my health. I've been smoking on the daily, drinking every night and day, feeling kind of hazy. It's probably from the drugs I ate. I guess what I'm trying to say is I miss you Will you come out and play? Cause in my heart, I know that I need you I'll do whatever it takes Oh my God! When you have this much talent competing in a match, everybody wins. The fans win, the viewers at home win. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hello. Yeah, you want to say hi? Say hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you like that? Yeah, I was scared when you did the, the sunset flip off the apron. I was scared. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> but, I couldn't tell if you saw your head properly or not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Alright. Alright, babe, well, I'll, uh, okay. I'll text you. Okay, I love you, I'm glad you're okay. Alright, I love you too. I'm proud of you, the match was really, really good. Thanks. Milo's proud of you too. See you tomorrow, buddy, I love you. He says I love you, daddy. <laughs> Alright, babe, alright, bye. Appreciate it, man. So I came here just to see Leo Rush, the man of the hour do his business, take care of shit. That's how it is. Seven years strong to follow Leo. We're back in business. Feel the rush. Always happy to see him flipping around, fucking doing his thing, slapping the shit out of people's faces. <laughs> to hear that reaction when I came out and to hear that reaction after I was done the match. Dude, I, I love my fans so much. I love my fans so much much because they've been so patient with me they've been so understanding they've been so willing to allow me to go through whatever it is that I needed to go through during that time and for them to welcome me back with open arms and to have a ovation even better than what I would have originally had it means the world to me it means the world
they, they, they didn't have to uh, stick with me. They didn't have to, you know, say, hey, Leo, I know that you're human. I know that you go through things just like we go through things and take as much time as you need. Uh, and that means the world to me. Um, it means the world that they, they're always gonna be so welcoming uh, with open arms um, when it comes to me and the wrestling business. And, uh, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I am the man of the hour. Look at the way I move. Look at me, look at me. Best thing I'm since sliced bread. I'm a piece of gold, like I said. Don't you mess with my head. Quit me and your dad. I don't know how to rest them guys. Get gold, like that's my job. Uh, can't look at that. Took your spot, yeah, that's not my problem.